Hi guys, so we have finally uh, headed off from being back home and changing over the caravan and then having to change over the car. So we're finally on the road again. Yeah, it's been a very, very long time, but to you guys, it looks like no, like five to six weeks or something, but it it's actually been, been really, really long. It just yeah. has felt long. Yeah, so we decided that we needed to hit the road again, so that's what we've done. Uh, we've been staying at people's private property the last few days, so we haven't done any filming, um, which has actually yeah. put us to where we are today. And today we are currently in the, I suppose, the start of the high country. Yeah. Um, seems a bit funny that we're back at the high country after what happened with the car. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to somewhere that we're... We're in the high country in the heat. So it's yeah. no snow. No, we're, we're basically... <laughs> Going to a place that we wanted to go to for a very long time, and we're finally here. This is actually on our bucket list at the very start, which we decided not to do. No, well, mind you, we've been here quite a few times, just never with a caravan. So it was on our bucket list to bring the van here. Um, we're in the, the Bright region. We're not there yet. We're about 20 minutes from there now. Yeah. And yeah, we, we've always wanted to go put the caravan on the on the ovens and and camp on that that river there and just, chill. just let the kids do what they um, want to do and do best which is swimming yeah we're just gonna use this as a bit of time to like debrief de-stress oh truck de-stress and just wind down and get back into the groove of traveling um again so yeah it's been it just feels like it's been a while but we have done little tiny things here and there, yeah. just trying a little shakedown things, just trying to isolate a couple of issues I've had um, with the car. Yeah. Um, but we're pretty much there now, so we're pretty safe to sort of head off and venture out that little bit further. And van's been bulletproof, it always has been though. So yeah, anyway, we'll, um, we'll show you what we get up to around Bright and what you can sort of expect to see for anyone that's following us that's not from Victoria. In the summer. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this place, this place can really turn it on in the heat. So today's 39 degrees, tomorrow's probably 40, but then it drops off to like 28s and um, for the rest of the week. So we're rolling in there on a Monday, um, strategic because We've been here a couple of times on the weekend and it sucks on the weekend here. It it's is very busy. Like a heap of ducks in ponds and stuff. It's yeah. so busy. It's just pool. always overpacked. But yeah. Bright's a really, really nice place. We're not actually staying in Bright. We're going to stay in Port Punka, which is um, 10 minutes just it's out like, of Bright. It's really, yeah. really good place to stay. Yeah, it's got a really nice pub. Mm. So anyway. We'll show you what we get up to around here while we're here.
They, um, they had us on a site just up there that was like half the size of this one. We would have never have fitted the van on there, let alone the car. So that's one thing that we're, Sarah and I probably haven't really been used to yet is making sure the site's big enough for the car and the van. But this is it. This is, this is the ovens. The ovens river. The kids are making their way here slowly. It's just such a, such a cool spot. Can't wait to get a deck chair and sit in there later with so the when, kids. <laughs> before we bought a caravan or did any traveling we we first started off in a um an amrock and a my sister's camper trailer and we actually camped with that oh be about half a k downstream of here and we had kayaks and stuff and we've actually kayaked this with the kids um and it's an amazing experience to do it's nice but and shallow we don't have, and safe yeah we don't have kayaks this time but it's it's good fun but anyway we better get set up but it's pretty quiet yeah. and i'd say as the week progresses it'll just get busier and busier and so you can see the bottom all the pebbles and rocks and stuff so it's nice and safe and shallow for kids so perfect for louis what do you think louis we'll come back another half a meter get him out of the water but he kept running back so anyway we've just gotten here after lunch so we're going to do that now while i set the van up but the van is like i mean trashed on the outside it's so dirty we tried so now, hard how's our luck been we have not been able to find a car wash for the last 400 k for ages it's going to fit this the van yeah. in there. they're all just too small which is fine that's the good thing about swan hill it has a nice big one there so if you're ever going through there do it because it's yeah. a really good one it's very dirty and the car is disgusting as well like the kids fingerprints and ugh. The car. Look how dirty it is. I'm just like sitting here watching the kids playing and um, yeah it's so nice just sitting here and the girls are just up there laughing and giggling and cackling and floating down the water and just having fun like it's so it's just so nice to see um, it, what I guess brings joy to all of this what we're doing with the kids just seeing them happy and enjoying life um, yeah it's what we do it for anyways meanwhile this little munchkin hey Louie So we're staying at the uh, Discovery Mount Buffalo Caravan Park here in Port Punka. Uh, this is our caravan site, I'll show you in a second. The park itself right now is completely empty. It's actually an amazing, amazing place to be right here now. There's only probably out of the 50 or 60 sites that are here, there'd only be four or five vans. It's awesome. But I'll give you a quick look at our site. I've cleaned everything. Like I've washed the car and the van, the awning, everything. But
like no one's here. Louis just making the most of me washing the caravan, all the dirt's all nice and wet for him. <laughs> he loves it. This is the uh, bright um, sort of swimming hole. This has always been here, this little dam. It's just a little bit of a weir. Holds back the water here so everyone can sort of swim all times of the year. And normally this place is absolutely packed with people, but there's no one here right now. So we're gonna make the most of this. And there's also a splash park over there, which is where Louie and Sarah are at the moment. And I'll show you in a minute, but this is unreal. The water's freezing because it comes off the alpines. Um, yeah. Yeah, good. He's got it all to himself.
right has a lot to offer. It's got a lot of these sort of pull-in areas all on up and down the valley. Um, this is a picnic area here. Um, just before we went and had a look at a free camp area, the Smoko one. Um, it's a bit overgrown at the moment and obviously not very well maintained. It would look nice, I think, if it was cleaned up a bit more, a little bit like this area here. But yeah, another good reason to come here during the summertime is to check out some of these areas that you can't really see during the winter time because um, the sea that's just too cold or you're on the race to get up the mountain and go skiing which is only just under 50 k's from where I'm standing now and that's um, Mount Hotham and Falls Creek um, and um, sometimes Mount Buffalo so Bright's kind of that sort of centralized area for those ski resorts um, to do that trek during the winter time takes about an hour now yeah, as a kid I used to come here with my parents and they, um, there was one time we took a little blow up um, little little boat with some oars and the old man dropped it in somewhere around where I'm standing now, if not probably here. And yeah, we used to float down this river all the way back to the swimming hole that we were videoing this morning. So yeah, this is some couple of really cool things you can do. You can do it with kayaks as well. Um, we don't have kayaks on this trip at the moment, which is bit sad because we probably could have done it it would have been awesome just chuck your reef shoes on and float down the river and yeah just make a day of it but um yeah today is a cracking day it's 40 degrees again today um there is some rain coming in the next two or three hours apparently so yeah we thought we'd just get out and try and make the most of today and have a bit of a look around in the area that we don't get to see but we're going to head back to the van now and hide because it's getting too warm and yeah, we might venture out tomorrow. This is the rain I said, it's here. It's still warm though, like it's actually nice we wearing um, board shorts and shirt. It's pretty cool, we're gonna hopefully watch the river rise up maybe a couple inches. Hopefully it doesn't go much more than that though.
still basically got the whole park to ourselves. It's unreal. Just a couple of vans on the other side there turned up today. But, don't mind uh, the storms here. It's actually quite nice. All this time we had to prove that we could <laughs> stand here too. All the nights been pushing through. Fight for all we had to lose Reaching out for something To pull us up to the level ground Oh, I can see it now I can see it now We're on the edge of our moment But now we're fired up Now we're diving in The light up ahead We're running to We've just um, come out to the Buckland Rock Pools. Um, I think it's called Sinclair's Waterhole on Wiki. It's about five minutes from the caravan park. Okay, Louis. It's about five minutes from the caravan park in Porpunka where we're staying. So we'll give you a look, but it's a nice cool little spot. I reckon we'll come out here on a warmer day or warmer part of the day and have a swim. Um, but yeah, this is it. I have to walk um, not even 50 meters. It's 
bit of a shame that we've sort of come across this stuff now. These three camps here, which I'll put a wiki camp screenshot. There's about four or five of them that are all within a K of each other, probably 10 to 15 Ks outside of Paul Punker to the south. Um, these are stunning campgrounds. Definitely very underrated area. Yeah, it's on the Buckland Valley Road and it's Bitumen Pretty quite much. a fair bit of the way. 90% of the way. Yeah, maybe a K out from the first camp, it turns to like gravel. Um, and then it's like gravel, then bitumen, gravel, then bitumen patches and yeah. stuff. But these camps are so nice, quiet, that, peaceful. The first one we went to, which I would have shown you, was all green and grass area. Like that's, any caravan can get to that. That's bitumen. Yeah, I way. don't reckon you'd even need yeah. a full wheel drive to get to that. But. No, you don't. But this one here, you had to go through the river. So yeah. the clearance at the start would be an issue. But coming out this, the other side was fine. But it does look like there's a little bit of space on the other side of the river before the crossing that you could possibly just park your van and camp. Yeah. Um, anyway, we're going to go and have a quick look at the other ones and see what they're like. And if, if we can find one that we really like, we're going to we'll probably try and drag the van to it. But we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, we just like driving around and finding camps and stuff. For the just, future? Yeah, like for next time or just so we can recommend to other people, say don't, you know, don't go and stay in this caravan park, head out here and there's awesome camps. So we just like to kind of explore that um, so we can share a bit of info with people. But yeah. yeah. Anyway, we'll keep going. Yeah.